Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Will. Um, recently I had the very talented um, Shea Maher from BB Turning here in the workshop and he left me a couple of um, nice pieces of tiger wood. So I haven't made a lidded box in a while so there was a couple of nice small pieces in it so I said I'd have a go at making a box today. So um, I'll show you what I have. So this is a piece of tiger wood. And if anybody watches Shane's channel, you know he turns some beautiful pieces from Tigerwood. So I was chuffed when he left me a couple of small pieces. This was actually um, uh, twice this long, so if you hang on to the end of the video, you'll see what I've done with the other half. So, um, as I said, I'm going to have a go at making a nice little lidded box. Nice and plain box. I think the, the wood is going to speak for itself in this piece. It's absolutely gorgeous. It really is. And this is a, it's a rarity in my workshop. So what I'm going to do, I'm, I'll be turning this, as you can see, I've drilled a, a hole in it. So I'm using a little SC2 chuck. So I'm going to mount this on a, on a worm screw. So that's, this is going to be the, the, the base. So for the lid, so I'm going to be turning this um, cross grain. So I have also here a nice little piece of walnut. So I've already put a little tenon on it just to speed me up a little bit. Um, so as you can see I'm going to turn this end grain. The reason I'm turning it end grain is because you can see this beautiful um, maybe if I if I just spray it you'll see there's some beautiful I want to I want to get all that lovely lovely grain there shown. So this is going to be my lid. So we get we get get cracking at the at the base first. So as I said this is a little SC2 chuck I'm going to be mounting the first piece on a worm screw. I already drilled the hole just to speed me up a little bit. So I'll just bring up the tail stock until I get it rounded off. I am starting off the one inch roughing gouge. Now I have it down to a cylinder and I've flattened off the base. So I'm going to put a small recess in the bottom. I'm just going to dovetail it slightly. I'm just going to put a little bit of decoration now on the bottom because this will be stained. Just put the little lines. So now I'm going to sand the base while I have access to it. So now that's the base sanded, I'm going to get a bit of sand and sealer on. The colour of that wood is absolutely gorgeous. Just put a little touch of wax on it as well. It's easier to do it at this stage. There's just a little bit of micro crystalline wax. Um, chestnut products one. Now that's the base done. I can get it off with a worm screw and into the chuck. So now I have it in the chuck, so 
I can start making some bit of a shape to the outside of the box. So I think I'm just going to round it over some. See what it looks like. Yeah, so I'm liking the shape on this section, so I might just roll the top in just a little bit. Refine that curve a little bit just with the skew. Just using it as a scraper. Holding it over. Yeah, happy with that now. I like that shape. Or do I? Might be a little bit sharp there. I might just round that another small bit. Just going to throw up the, the top here. I'm going to sand uh, the outside and um, I'll pause and I'll take you back as soon as I have that done. So, all sanded. I sanded up to 400 grit and sanding sealer again. Again, this is Chestnut Products Sanding Sealer. I just um, mix it 50-50 with tinners. That is beautiful timber. It really is. There's a beautiful chatoyance in the wood as well. I'll have to invite Shay up more often. If any of you don't follow Shay, um, his um, channel is BB Turning. I'll leave a link to it in the description below, so check it out. Um, he does some he does some beautiful pieces. So I'm just going to denib it with this little scotch brake pad. Just to take off any little fibres that might have raised up, so happy with that. I'm not going to put wax on the outside. Um, I'm going to do that later at the end. So I'm going to get the inside hollowed out now. So I'm just going to drill a little pilot hole first. Just square this off a little bit. So my, what I have in mind is I'm going to have the lid um, recessed into the pot. So I'm going to leave a little shoulder. Oh, the pencil won't even mark it. So, I don't know if you can see the pencil line, but you'll see now. Now I have left my little shoulder, that's just for the lid to sit in on, and I can hollow out now all the rest. Just make sure it's 
sure that's nice and flat there. Anyway, I'm just going to hollow it out with this little small carbide tool. I find it just nice and quick. You could use a forstner bit at this stage to to do it, probably do it a little bit quicker, but. to go down another small bit in the bottom. So I'm just going to switch over now to a little round nose scraper. It's a one inch round nose scraper. deep enough in the bottom I think the sides are still a little bit thick so take another little bit off there yeah I think I'm good with that just have a small little nubbin in the very bottom so I need to get that off Now I'm happy with that, so I'm going to get this sanded. Again, I'll pause, you don't want to be looking at me sanding, and I'll take you back as soon as I have it done. So now that's the sanding done. Again, I sanded up to 400 grit. So again, I'm just going to pop some sanding sealer on. This little squirt in there. Might as well get another coat on the outside as well. Oh my, the colour in that. I, I know I'm after saying it two or three times, but it's absolutely amazing. So now we'll just let that dry off. So now it's nice and dry. So again, I'm just going to denib it with a little Scotch white pad. And I'm going to put a little bit of micro crystalline wax on the inside. That's our base finished, or pot, box, whatever we want to call it. I think the, in the, the inside actually looks nicer than the outside, but then I haven't polished the outside yet. Anyway, put this to one side and we make a start from the lid. So, as I said at the start, we were turning the lid from a little piece of walnut, but this is going to be um, end grain. So I just put a little uh, tenon on it just to speed me up a little bit. So for this piece, 
the same as what I've done with the base. I'm just going to put a, a little recess here and add a little bit of detail to it. And it can stay there in the, in the underside of the lid. I'll just flatten off this face first. I'll just bring it to a, bring it to a round first before I do anything else. So I'm just going to flatten off the face. It's marked for my recess. So, like on the underside of the pot, I'm just going to put a couple of little detail lines in. So happy with that. So I'm just going to sand this now. So a little sanding sealer. Now that's the underside of the lid um, waxed and polished. So I'm just going to take the lid down to the size I need to fit in the pot. there. When we do a fit, it's always better to creep up on it. Because when you go too far, it sucks. So, a little bit more to go. So it's just starting to go in on my taper now. So, so there we are, just nice. So I'm just going to take the opportunity now just to mark near enough where. I hope that's how far down in the recess it's going. So now I can start to shape the lid. As you can see what I'm going for, I'm going to make a little a little 
a little button on the on the lid. I was going to make one separately, but I have enough material to work with. To Now we get this sanded. Oh, that's the lid sanded. I get some sanding sealer on. Now just let that dry. There's our lid. So I've left the recess in, just made it a little feature with a few detail lines in it. So now I'm going to get these polished and we'll get it together and see what it looks like. There we have it, our little box from Tigerwood. That is amazing, that Tigerwood. And walnut for the lid. So, as you can see, we left the recess in, just decorated a bit, just a nice fit. So that's the other half of that lovely piece of tiger wood. There was a little bit more um, sap wood on that piece. Again, I turned the, the lid end grain, so which is quite nice. Little bit of sap wood on this one. Really, really lovely. Just beautiful shines in that wood. So there we have it guys, that's a wrap on this um, video, um, our little tiger wood and walnut box. So really chuffed with that wood, it's really amazing. I was going to do a different colour wood for lid but I'm glad I chose the walnut because I think it, it looks amazing as well. The way the grain is in that end grain, it's really really nice. So, And I said that's the one I, I, I done earlier, so um, yeah. Happy, happy with them. So again, um, check out Shay from BB Turning. I'll leave a link below to Shay's channel. And um, again, if Shay watches it, thanks for giving me the piece of wood, buddy. Um, really, really much appreciated. And um, so anyway, guys, if you don't mind, tap the like, give me a subscribe maybe, and share, you know, the usual YouTube stuff. And leave me a comment also and let me know what you think. Um, I like to hear what everyone thinks about my turning. And I should catch us all in the next one. So take care. Bye for now.